Good day everyone, this is Sir Fred and welcome to another video lesson tutorial. Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Sa video ng ito ay ating pag-aaralan ang iba't ibang concepts about probability. Atin munang alamin ang iba't ibang objectives ng lesson na ito. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define what is probability and identify and differentiate terms associated to probability concepts. Sa slide na ito, ay pinapakita sa atin kung saan nga ba nagbula ang probability. The theory of probability was founded in the 17th century by two French mathematicians, namely Blaise Pascal and Pierre Fermat. It began with problems related to the games of chance. By definition, pag sinabi natin probability, it refers to the likelihood for something to happen. It is also often referred to as a measure of chance. Pag sinabi din natin probability, it is also a numerical measure of the likelihood that the event will occur. Kung makikita natin dito sa scale, from 0 to 1, pag sinabi natin 0, the event is impossible to happen. And if it is in 50-50, so there is a 50-50 chance that, will, that the event will happen. And if it is in 1, the event is certain to happen. Sa puntong ito, ay ating alamin ang iba't ibang properties of probability of an event. So, number one, a probability is a number between 0 and 1 inclusive. Ibig sabihin, the closer the probability of an event to 1, the more likely the event to happen, and the closer the probability of an event to 0, the less likely it will happen. And also, take note that the probability of an event that cannot happen is zero or impossible. Number three, the probability of an event that must happen is what? So, ibig sabihin, if it is in zero, the event will never happen. And if it's in one, that is sure to happen. So, yung probability of an event is between zero and one. Number four, if the probability of an event E is P, then the probability of the complement of that event is 1 minus P. Etong mga properties na to ay ating ma encounter at ma apply sa iba't ibang problems about probability. At this moment, let us engage ourselves in knowing the different terminologies related to probability. So, number one is experiment. When we say experiment, it is a process or activities that has a definite result called the outcomes or the possible results of an experiment. Number two is the sample space or the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. And event or E is the subset of the sample space. So, for us to clearly identify and differentiate the three terms shown on the headings or in the upper part of this presentation, let's have the following situations. So, when we toss a coin, tossing a coin class is what we call as the experiment. Getting a head and a tail is the sample space. And definitely, if we want to get the chances or the probability of getting a head and getting a tail, that is the event. When we toss two coins, so we have the sample space, head, comma, head, head, comma, tail, tail comma head and tail comma tail. Ang ating event would probably be head comma tail, tail comma head or the chances of getting a head and tail, tail and head. Rolling a die means that we have a sample space of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So if we want to get the chances of landing on even numbers such as 2, 4 and 6, so yun po yung tinatawag nating event. When we roll a pair of dice, we have a sample space which is 6 times 6. So, yung 6 class came from the faces of each die. 
And once we multiply it, the result is 36 outcomes. So this activities or experiments clearly shows the differences between what an experiment, what a sample space, and what an event is all about. So let's say for example, in a sample space of rolling a pair of die, so these are the possible outcomes when we roll these two die together. And of course, let's say for example that if we want to know the event that the sum of two numbers is 9, so we're just going to take a look at this particular chart or table at ang titingnan nating class are the possible outcomes that once we add them together, the result is 9. So those are 3, 6, 6, 3, 4, 5, and 5, 4 enclosed in a set notation. Sa puntong ito, for each of the following given experiment, determine the number of sample space. For number 1, if we want to know the sample space of getting or tossing 3 coins, so how many faces? ang meron tayo sa bawat coin. So, 2, head and tail. So, we're just going to multiply 2 for the first, 2 for the second, and 2 for the third, and that results to 8. Rolling a pair of die, pinakita na sa atin kanina yon. that is 6 times 6, and that results to 36. Tossing 2 coins and rolling a die. So, that is 2 for the first coin, 2 for the second coin, and 6 for the die. That's 2 times 2 times 6. The result is equal to 24. Picking a mar marble from a jar consisting of 5 green, 6 blue, and 8 red marbles. Add these 3 colors of marbles together. Those, This is what we call as the sample space. So 5 plus 6 plus 8. The result is equal to 19. Draw drawing a winning number from a 649 lotto game. In this particular scenario class, so we can apply the concept of combination that we have learned pre in the previous lessons. Wherein, once we get the combination of 49 taken 6, so those are the number of sample space that we have in this particular experiment. For letter B, we are tasked to determine the number of events in each of the following experiments. So, in a standard deck of cards, we are tasked to identify event A, which is the chances of getting a red card. So, if we are pertaining to a deck of cards, so ilan po ba doon ang red card? There is, the answer is equal to 26. For letter B, getting a face card. Or that's event C, ilan po ba ang face card natin doon? That is 12. For event E, a red spade. Meron po bang red spade sa ating deck of cards? The answer is zero. Wala pong red, which is also the same as a spade sa ating pong deck of cards. An ace, so ilan po bang ace sa ating deck of cards? So that's four. A king of hearts. Ilan po ba, a king of, ilan po ba ang king of hearts sa ating deck of cards? The answer is one. For the second problem, we are asked to identify the following events when two dice are rolled. So class, meron na po ako ditong table with the possible outcomes when two dice are rolled. So now, for the first event, the sum of the numbers that is greater than 10, we have 4, 6, 5, 5, and 6, 4, we have 3. For the second event, double or the same number of dots, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6. So counting them together, we have 6. For the third event, the sum of the numbers that are odd. Okay? So just like what we did for the first and the second, once we count them, the answer is equal to 18. For letter D, not a double. So kung 36 to class at anim doon ang double, ibig sabihin 30 doon ang hindi. Then for the Last event, both are even. So, ibig sabihin, yung faces ng die natin, as the outcomes, dalawa, yung faces po ay both even numbers. So, we have 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 4, 2, 4, 4, 4, 6, 
6,2, 6,4, and 6,6. .6. So once we count them, the answer is equal to 9. At dyan natatapos ang ating video tutorial sa araw na ito. Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!